Yo, what's up guys? I am not where you last left me at the table, okay? We are mobile. I don't know what it is about like being not at the table and like so dizzy and being like, you know, stuck camera wise, but this just feels so much more fun. Okay, so what I'm gonna do today is use this opportunity to give you guys a collection update, okay? So I know that you guys have seen a lot of my garage and stuff going on in there, but there's been a lot of movement, uh, obviously within the within the safe itself and then and then the you know the backdrop itself and i want to give you guys kind of like a behind the scenes also on like some vault city stuff this is not a ps there's no vault city packs uh for sale or anything like that, but this is you know i could use it as an opportunity to kind of also give you a behind the scenes it'll be an interesting video uh to show you guys kind of what my collection looks like because it's multifaceted all right so let's start out in the hallway since you know, this is where I normally reside. Don't mind my uh, my wire maintenance. I'll gonna throw that. Okay, so let's start with out here. And I'm gonna tell you something, and my wife will attest, this hallway is usually absolutely covered from wall to wall in totes and boxes. Whenever the Vault City packs are in full swing, these guys right here, Again, not, there's none for sale, I'm just showing you guys. This place is in full influx, uh, totally crazy. Also, on a side note, David, my biggest objection today is to not dox myself. So if you could do anything in your power, if you see anything that is somehow doxing to myself or anyone at all, just blur that out or just cut it out. Thanks, buddy. We followed you home. So it does give me a little chuckle when I hear people say, oh, you know, oh, the, the, the packs are weighed or God, whatever it is, they are literally, this is kind of how they look before, you know, my wife and I go through the process of packing them, putting stickers. This is a transformer I need for my air conditioning unit, which took a, which took a crap. So there's, so there's that. Uh, but yeah, they, where are the stickers? There's stickers in here somewhere. Stickers. Okay. So this is kind of how it looks. So like, I'm, you know, I'll take out one of these. This is gonna be the next run, okay? Which is, you know, not for a while, but this is gonna be the mix. This is what the inner mix is gonna look like for the next run. But yeah, like there is a thing about the Silver Tempest packs. They come out of either seal booster boxes or literally seal booster boxes or 144 count cases of single pack boosters, if you know what those look like. And on the last run, I like, I don't know if these are God, I, like I have no idea, but that's where they come from. Obviously, you know, and we keep the heavy ones over here and the light. Come on. That always gives me a chuckle when, when people say that they're weighed. That, that's just wild to me. But that's kind of like how they look. And the real, the real issue, and you know, obviously you guys know about the garage. Oh boy. So that's where they'll start in the, you know, in the sealed form. And then I have to break them out so they're manageable. You know, when we're, you're doing hundreds, if not thousands of, of those, uh, those vault city things. Okay, so moving on in that same tone, kind of like the same deal here, right? So that's just, a, man, hold on a second before we, before, let's not, let's not jump the gun here. Sealed Japanese. Guys, when I started the channel, if you've been with me for long enough, I was always very, very afraid of Japanese. Oh, boom. These came out of those power collection boxes. You know the ones that have the 10. David knows the ones, you know, you guys know the ones, but these are all out of there. Uh, for when I do breaks. But yeah, again, keeping it manageable. I am f fully full all in. There should be one, yep, 151 back there. We're not talking about 151 right now. They're going through a reprint. These are the these are the dark ages for 151, just right now. <laughs> but I mean, you know, I don't know. Let's not talk about that. Probably, possibly Korean packs in there. We just don't know. No, we do know. We got those straight from Japan. Okay, other than that, but yeah, seal cases. So, <laughs> My collection is kind of different in that way. I mean, you can, we'll get to that in a second. It's always in flux. So like, I don't know if I would consider this my collection, but it is a part of what I own, but it's always moving. And I'll take little little bits here and there, but you'll see like, like when we open up my safe, you'll see open boxes like this, but there is always an extra amount of something, something because I'm doing exact counts of stuff. Okay, so let's talk about now, whenever you wonder where, like, you know, the boxes that are for breaks or, the higher tier box, you know, packs that come in those Vault City packs or for my breaks. I don't know, call me a hoarder. This is just some of it, guys. This is like, 
there is totes and also drawers full of just wasted carcasses of boxes, okay? I mean, they're everywhere. They are freaking everywhere. Team Up, Silver Tempest. I can't, I mean, even, I, I don't know, you know, I just, I don't know, maybe I'm a hoarder. This is a cool Gengar shirt that came with those skateboards that, that were right there. There's something, I just don't wanna, I don't wanna throw them away. I don't know if you guys are the same out there in TV land, but. For you slap kids, this is always changing. One thing that I have been getting into a lot. Oh, you can kind of see myself. Hola. Uh, one thing that I have really been turning to and one thing I've been doing actively, and maybe, you know, maybe this is a good kind of, you know, thing for people out there also that hoard their slabs. I'm starting to really move the slabs that I'm not so much interested in anymore. And I'm, and I'm truly like getting more focused in my slab collecting. So I'm going for the full set of gold stars, which is obviously very difficult, but, and you know, and I'm not by any means going, going for tens. I mean, that's, you know, that's not gonna fit uh, the old budget with three kids, two dogs, a wife of 11 years. And uh, yeah, you know, the whole operation. But I would say like EXs are very affordable right now. There was a time when I was trying to, when I was trying to complete Sky Ridge. Obviously some of those cards are absolutely out of reach. And I like, you know, I like low pop oddity types cards. That's a, that's a really cool one. That's a no symbol uh, PSA 10 Snorlax, but some new stuff that's come that you guys probably haven't seen. There's some gym challenge. Uh, this is a baddie. You guys have seen, oh boy. Oof. This is an absolute baddie. Uh, that is a non-hollow Dragonite Team Rocket PSA 10. It's the number five, if you can see it. Number five, that should be a hollow, but it's an error card, so super cool. Uh, obviously some Simp Zard Boy stuff up here. I have cut this down. This, this, can, this used to be full of Charizards. So um, I've cut that down a lot, but some beautiful cards. Prime, I mean, Prime Mew, you can't go wrong. Older shirt too. I almost like those old slabs also. Man, we got a clean in here. I don't know what's going on. We need more lemon pledge. Just some other baddies in here. Staff Evolutions. That's a pretty cool card. PSA 10, hollow from, from Evolutions. Uh, some full, some full Just some full arts. We're gonna talk, I have another one of these. We're gonna talk about where that one is. Uh, but yeah, bad boy looking back at you. Flash fire, love me some flash fire. Another staff from Vivid Voltage. The last time they printed a Charizard staff card. So fun fact uh, on that. Okay, let's continue on because we're nine minutes in and I don't know if we've done if we if we've done anything per se. You guys know what this looks like. That's the backdrop. We just broke this. They go over there for sorting. Down here have some some cooler stuff, right? I got some of these. That's Heart Gold Soul Silver. Got a couple of those. A couple of cool tins. This is, I kind of keep stuff over here within arm's reach, just in case if I ever want to open it up on the channel. This rack is constantly in flux, okay? So I love opening single blisters. It's just the kind of me wanting a somewhat of a fair shake at not getting a tampered pack, if you know what I mean, and not having to bust open an entire booster box of something. I'm getting a fair shake for the channel and I just feel like they're just, you know, less weighable by chance. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's just, this is my way of combating the weighing that happens out in the world where I can maybe get a fair shot at something, you know, that, that might have a hit in it where I don't have to worry so much, okay? You guys, if you know, then you know. If you don't, Ryan, okay, my boy got me this. Uh, as a gift. This was, I don't know, super cool. Some of my favorite stuff of my collection is not stuff that I've actually purchased, like fan art over there. It's very cool. Okay. At some point I'm gonna open this. Ryan did give me this when I, my last time I was, I was out in Jersey. I wanna open this. This has an EX era pack. I think it's Crystal Guardians, if I'm not mistaken. Gonna open that at some point. Uh, some new stuff on the back shelf right here. Uh, Harkwold Soul Silver Base. Uh, very cool box. Also, Dragon's Exalted. This is another box I had, uh, different from the one that we just opened. And again, all of these boxes are gonna either, at some point, be broken on the channel, or they're gonna go into the Vault City packs at some point. You guys already know about these cards right here. Maybe you don't, I, I don't know. Do we? Leave? I don't know if we, we go over it. I feel like a lot of you guys have seen already, but I don't know. Ultra Prism, I just have one cased. I have a couple others. Uh, Legendary Treasures, absolutely smoke show of a set. Very underrated, black and white. 
Plasma Storm, probably one of the most brutal sets to get hits out of. This guy right there comes out of Plasma Storm. That is a dope card. It is very, I think this, is this not the, I, I could be misspeaking. I don't know if this is the first time. Maybe it's the first shiny secret rare Charizard appearance. I don't know, maybe someone can check my math. Obviously team up, freaking banger set. First edition fossil, base set, very normal type stuff. I'm just gonna give a quick scan. You guys have already seen these. Still looking for a PSA 10 Blastoise and base set for a reason, just so I can complete the big three, but you know, again, these are, this is like, these are slabs that I might, at some point I might get rid, I, I don't know, you know, I'm tr I, I'm trying my best to like always be freshening up the collection and not have a lot of the same all the time. You know what I mean? Definitely, definitely loving that ponchos are coming down in price. I'm going to be looking to try to get a few more ponchos so if they're reasonable. These are super cool. Okay. So they're kind of like three cards that interact with each other, red, blue, and green. Uh, from Tag Team GX All-Stars, Japanese, and they all interact with each other, uh, like the pattern on the back, if you can see, it's kind of like three becomes one, I guess, somehow. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Okay, Platinum Arceus or Arceus, I get it, okay? Platinum Supreme Victors. At some point, and it's gonna be within the next month or two, I'm gonna be breaking those together. I don't think I've ever seen anyone do that. Killer Charizards come out of here, Level X. Level X Arceus, Secret Rares. I mean, the Gambit are in these two. There's, there's shinies that are in these shiny reverses. These boxes are wicked, wicked cool to open. Or, you know, just to watch being open because any pack could come with, you know, a little bit of a little bit of everything. So, Flash Fire, obviously, you know, you guys already know about that with me. Uh, Next Destinies, black and white, very cool set. All right, let's go into the... Hold, please. So not too much different uh, in the safe. A lot of stuff is very similar. You guys have seen, I mean, in previous episodes, I'm not gonna you know, go into all of it. This, these racks usually don't change all that much. Why I have two boxes of Remix Bout in here, I do not know. Again, Japanese, I guess I just put them in there. A Little bit of home defense. Up here, these are always, these are gonna always be boxes that are in flux. Again, you're gonna see open boxes where I don't really mess with them too much. Believe me, the, the freaking the degenerate tingles are there in terms of wanting to open this stuff, but I just fight it back uh, as best I can. Cause I, you know, I just take them out and I put them, you know, I, if we're either breaking or if we're putting it in the Vault City packs, but that's, you know, this is kind of where they reside. Lost Thunder back there, some extra slabs. Again, this was full of slabs and I'm, do, I'm really trying to do a good job of kind of spreading it out. I've had them for years and I want them to go back out in the circulation into the wild. Let's see what's back there. Ultra Prism, yeah, Primal Clash, yeah. So I, I want them to go back out into the wild so other people can enjoy them. And if anyone ever wonders what this is, this is a Ghostbusters diorama when they first battle Zool and the first Ghostbusters. I have all the Diamond Select figures. I just haven't taken them out yet. Why I haven't done that yet, I don't know. More to come later. <laughs> but behind here, Box, you got it. I don't even know if this is, this is, you guys know about this. This is my, kind of like my side, this is my side stuff. This is stuff from my childhood, things that I've collected over the years. Uh, yeah, yaddy yaddy, okay? This is the command center. I was gonna clean up, but then I was like, why the hell would I do that? It's just gonna get destroyed again. But like I was saying, some of my, you know, obviously I get I get coupled in with the boys, which which I love, but they, they said, I was sent this by, by, a, by a viewer of the channel, by a fan, and some of my favorite, favorite stuff in my collection is stuff that I don't even, that I never even purchased. It was gifted to me. I mean, look at these little, look at how cool that is, you know? These are completely one-offs uh, in my collection. And I somehow look like, I like that he got me on the last clip of my, of my, of my <laughs> which I, the attention to detail is, is, is amazing. Uh, but yeah, this is me devolving back into a monkey. <laughs> Uh, yeah, ah. I don't know. What, have you guys seen this? You guys seen this, obviously, during the live events. This is a, you know, jersey that was gifted to me by my boy, Tony. Uh, it says Pokeball on the back also. 2021, right, when we started the channel. Guys, listen, I'm absolutely living the dream. You're looking at a guy that's already made it in life. You know, you're giving me the opportunity to become my own master, and all you're doing is just watching and clicking and subscribing and doing all of the things that are free, which is actually making me free 
as a grown adult, uh, again, to you know release the shackles. Guys, I love you all. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for all the support. I hope this was fun for you. If you guys want to do this again in you know a different capacity, you want me to go into the garage, I mean, I can do that, but you know, you've seen a lot of it. Do all the things, hit the buttons, guys, and I'm going to see you either in the streets, in the comments, or on the next live or the next episode. Peace out, guys. Yeah, I'm talking to you. It's time to hit the button already. Do it now. What do you think, I'm dancing for free here?